A couple of boats that were up for sale in Door County are now off the market, and here's why. Take a look. The boats docked at Skipper Bud's Quarter Deck Marina went up in flames last night. And as the investigation continues, Gabrielle Mays brings us a Fox 11 follow-up. As marina staff members wash away blackened wood panels, the smell of fire still lingers in the air. I was running over there and I stumbled. There's a ditch in between. I stumbled through the ditch and went to the other side. And at the same time, I was talking to 911 and I dropped the phone. I got Daniel Schott lives in nothing. Sturgeon Bay. He and says when he saw, picked his phone back saw. up, this is what he saw around 7 o'clock Monday night. I would say the flames on the, on the first boat, which was the, the biggest fire, was probably 15 feet high. That 44-foot yacht named Mary Kay belongs to the Clarks. We were shocked. Tom Clark says his boat was up for sale. That's why it was at Skipper Bud's, so that they could, they could show it. With a $120,000 price tag, this wasn't the only boat that went up in flames. Well, it started on the Mary Kay and then leapfrogged over to the boat next to it, then to a third one. Porter says surveillance video is giving more information on how the fire started. At, uh, about 7 p.m., we start to see smoke uh, coming out of a vent on the uh, starboard side of uh, the, the vessel Mary Kay. Clark's boat and another boat were up for sale. Is there any reason to believe there, that there was any suspicion as to, you know, the, the cause of the fire or someone starting this fire intentionally? No, these fires, the fire appears to be uh, accidental. For now, the charred boats will stay on land while officials continue their investigation into the cause of the fire. In Sturgeon Bay, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. And officials estimate the fire caused about $400,000 worth of damage. About $20,000 worth of damage was done to the marina. To view more of the damage, we have a photo gallery on our website. Just head to, our, just head to fox11online.com and click on the gallery on our homepage.